A wonderful morning to all virtually gathered here. With great delight on behalf of IDC, we once again welcome you all to the day four special talk series for achieving your dream job organized by the IT Support and Development Training Program, a unit of infrastructure development cell. I kindly request you all to pay attention to the Tamil Thai work. At this moment, I am glad to welcome today's speaker, Mr. Yama Santosh, Research Coordinator, Department of Mechanical Engineering, a Honorable Chairman Dr. P. Selvaraj, our Secretary Dr. B. Kavita Nandini, our Principal Dr. A. Nadrajan, our Administrative Manager Mr. Yam Karthik, Heads of various departments, faculties and students to this great event. At present, I kindly request our Principal Dr. A. Nadrajan to address the gathering. Now, I kindly request our Secretary, Dr. B. Kavitra Nandini, to address the gathering. Thank you, Harishmita. A very happy morning to one and all present here. I deem it a pleasure to be present for the day four talk series organized by ASDTP and also in a unit of uh, IDC Infrastructure Development Cell. And uh, it's really a great pleasure to be in with you all, with you all, the final year students. And uh, today we have our research coordinator, Mr. M.S. Santosh, talking about the industry perspective for employable engineers. I'm sure every student here is aware of what is perspective. What is perspective? Can anyone answer for what is perspective? Industry, you all know. Employable, you all know. Engineers, you all know. What is perspective? Perspective is opinion, your opinion. Understand? In Tamil, if you wanted to tell what perspective it is, a munnok abdin solvanga. That is what is perspective. Fine. So I'm sure Mr. Santosh is just going to give an excellent talk about this perspective. And I'm sure every student, every final year student, gets benefited because of this particular talk series. And I'm happy the AM here, the Administrative Manager Karthik has organized this talk series. And I wish the whole team all the very best to go on with this talk series in an excellent manner and provide beneficiaries to the students. Thank you so much. Thanks once again. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your warm words. We are certain that this special talk series will definitely guide the students to have a successful progress in their career, and their effective cooperation will be highly appreciable throughout the session. Let us have a short prologue about today's speaker. Mr. Santosh is one among the active researcher, presently contributing his role as a research coordinator of mechanical engineering department of our college. He has started his career as an assistant professor and after working four years, turned as full-time research associate of DST SERB, followed by DRDO ARDB, Institution of Engineers of India project, 
Mr. Santosh, having wide knowledge on material science, composite materials, and published one international patent, 30 plus research articles, and four book chapters in the web of science, Anna University Annexure listed and Scopus Index journals with the collaboration of various eminent institutions. He has also have an active collaboration researches with several esteemed universities. He has delivered more than 20 guest talks in the various skill development programs conferences, workshops, and webinars of a number of institutions. With this, now I invite the speaker, Mr. M. S. Santosh, Research Coordinator, Department of Mechanical Engineering, to take over the session to deliver about the topic, Industry Perspective on Employable Engineers. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Hashmita, uh, uh, for your warm introduction. Thank you very much. Uh, very first, before starting the session, I would like to uh, thank respected chairman, sir, respected secretary, ma'am, uh, respected principal, sir, and respected administrative manager, sir, for giving me this opportunity to, to have an interaction with all our final year students in this uh, uh, important, cru crucial period as we are in uh, uh, partial lockdown. So thank you very much for giving me this opportunity, sir, for uh, on behalf of uh, ISTDP, I would like to, I'm very much happy to present this particular topic to all our final year students. So, uh, I'm sharing my screen, please share. Is my screen visible? Yeah. Yes. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, let me start the session uh, on behalf of uh, uh, special talk series of achieving your dream uh, job. Uh, yes, I am going to present an industry perspective on employable engineers. What actually, as uh, ma'am said, what actually industries are thinking? Or, uh, while recruiting the fresh engineers what in their view what they are expecting from our side so this is what we are going to discuss in our complete uh, uh, presentation and we'll have a lot of surveys i have a lot of uh, uh, prior art surveys i have a lot of uh, uh, research data to present you all in this upcoming slides okay very first before getting into this particular topic I just wanted to ask you all, uh, 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 dear engineers, please be interactive. I just wanted to be this session will be more interactive. Okay. So can anyone uh, have any idea of why we should think on industry perspective? So do you have anyone have any idea? Just please uh, be uh, talkative in this time. Happy morning, sir. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Sir, uh... We should think about that, like uh, what they are uh, required. Like uh, if they are uh, having some ideas, uh, we are gaining that ideas so that we are preparing like that. Yes, yes, definitely. It is a very big objective of this particular uh, uh, series of uh, talk is about how sh how we should prepare ourselves to meet out the expectation of the industry. This is what the core objective of today's session. This objective has some uh, basics, some, some prior or surveys, some present actions, and some post processings. So these complete uh, things that we have to go, go to uh, discuss in this particular session. OK, so very, very beginning, uh, we need to understand, as we are all, you are all in the very uh, final year, you almost finished or you will uh, six semesters with the very flying color. You all have very good percentages of marks. Yes, you all almost uh, in our uh, college, 75% uh, of the students have been placed already. Okay, almost uh, some uh, 100 plus companies have visited our uh, institution already, or uh, some 75% of the students have already placed. And we are in the very cru crucial period to attach with the company, to start the new profile, to new job uh, with the companies. So as we are in this important phase, we must have to know what industry is thinking on us how we can change ourselves to adapt with the particular industry culture. So these are all we need to understand in the very beginning. Then only it will be very much easy to, uh, to adopt with that particular industrial environment. So with this objective, I'm going to start this session. And I, I just need to clarify one important thing. I have a three major phases in this presentation, as this is very important. So uh, before to go with the particular topic of what industry expects, we need to understand what industry is. 
how industry works what are all the advancements have been done in the industry these all the basics we need to understand in the very pre processing method process <coughs> okay then we have to prepare ourselves to adopt that culture after that we need to survive in that particular industry environment so these three are the very three main phases that i am going to discuss in this particular topic so very first what we have uh, we have planned to discuss is what will be the present scenario of the industry almost to past two years there will be a heavy covid pandemic a lot of things has been changed almost 80% of the industry environment have been changed they have adapted new technologies they have uh, adapted new um, uh, upgrades uh, they have uh, 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 upgraded their employee employees uh, uh, skills and everything has been developed in the past years is my voice audible yes sir yes thank you okay then what are all the things that industry expect it will be the very third phase that we are going to discuss so with this pre phase we are i am going to start the session and this will be the overview of our presentation so very first i just wanted to introduce one important big, big concept to you all there is a big concept where we can we can uh, work and uh, there will be lot of trust areas are there will be there will be lot of advantages opportunities are there then there is a industrial revolution has been happened in the past two years that we need to understand what has been happened what is the industrial scenario right now that we have to understand then the potential industrial product and customer implications what 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 changes have been done in this customer and the product implement implications then the major industries of india uh, i i'm just going to brief you uh, uh, major industries that will that will be uh, uh, rules the indian economy and i just wanted to give an overview on this then what will be the present industrial scenario that we need to understand and finally what are all the company expectation from fresh engineers and i i i have one uh, uh, bonus analysis to you all that is d funnel analysis for the fresh engineers so these are all my uh, uh, today's agenda to discuss with you all so please be interactive we'll have a, a very interactive session uh, even in the in between if you have any uh, clarification if you need any interaction kindly stop me at any time we'll have a very uh, strong interaction session today okay so shall we start the session guys yes sir yes yes there is a very uh, i just wanted this session with a very famous quote said by the joke sir uh, i think you may all know this uh, person he is a ceo of siemens so you may all know uh, what is siemens it's a company where it is anyone have any idea on siemens <coughs> so siemens is a very big manufacturing company having origin of germany they are a very world's leading automobile manufacturer okay every engineer's dream job will be lies in the siemens so if you get the job in this siemens your life will get entirely changed and there will be lot of advantages of getting this job and it, it, this this requires lot of special talents and efforts okay so joe kiser once said in the world economic forum the fourth industrial revolution is not just about technology or business and actually it is a about society okay the very meaning of this particular saying is we are in the industrial revolution that is fourth industrial revolution all the industries got upgraded to some certain level which we can't able to imagine in this uh, right now in this scenario so that development it not because of any business and it not because of getting some advanced technologies but it is actually about developing a society of getting a new society could anyone can able to imagine that some 5 years before how many of we have the 4g sim card some 5 years before how many of you have the uh, smartphones almost one person in the home will have a smartphone uh, one person will have a 4g uh, sim card uh, one person will have the internet connectivity just imagine right now we everyone owning their own smartphone their own internet connectivity of 4g speed some some certain speed we have we are our own internet connectivity and we have all our own facilities that that may be uh, becomes our identity even so this is what the uh, improvement of society we have upgraded in some certain levels <coughs> just imagine likewise 
every five years there is a certain technological changes happens and that affects each and every individual when it comes to the forum okay so this is what the very very famous saying by joe kisha so it is all about a particular society it is not about technology or business it is beyond technology and business it's about focusing a particular society we need to understand this particular concept okay whatever the invention whatever the uh, new idea that we are generating as an engineer that we have to use it for the beneficial benefit benefit of the society okay then uh, uh, i just wanted to ask you a very uh, simple question uh, can anyone of you able to differentiate what it is anyone please <coughs> actually it is a grinding machine yes isn't it it is a grinding machine sir evolution of machine sir yes revolution of machine and actually it is a grinding machine okay very first the first machine is a ancient grinding machine where we need to operate that machine manual operation is needed and the second machine will be that is also grinding machine but it it will be operated by the kinematic force of the water right so the slight upgrade has been happened but almost it have it have took some 100 plus years to get that upgrade great <coughs> and you just see the third machine where electricity and uh, horse power motor comes into the uh, action so there is a uh, there is a good quality of uh, pulverization can be done this will be the three phases or three uh, evolution of the grinding machines just see this image can anyone of you able to uh, understand what machine it is it is also a grinding machine but it will be completely operated by the computer numerical control it will be numerically uh, operated by the numerical system okay there will be a complete coding system is there and we will get a very high uh, quality of pulverization through this machinery just uh, can anyone of you tell me the difference between all these machine just imagine in this first three machine there will be not that much of heavy, heavy uh, uh, except that first machine heavy manpower is not required okay electricity uh, there will be some automation comes into the part okay so once we fix the motor and the electricity once switch uh, 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 power on and power off will be our function all the rest that machine can done okay in this fourth machine you just see that in this machine we need a programmer he will program what that machine have to do for a particular process so there is a programming languages came into the path at the same time fully automated machine is also working so i will tell you the concepts behind what is the fully automation and how we can upgrade that particular in the upcoming slide okay yes i just wanted to introduce this big concept i just want to tell you the two important point actually uh, according to this big concept any skilled engineer can take a control of a connected thing that means a connected machine that means a connected device yes we can operate any machine which if if it is connected to the internet okay that is what computer integrated manufacturing this is what the trending in this particular scenario everything has been digitized the very big uh changes that are that that has been happened after covid pandemic is digitization every everyone having awareness all the industries having the awareness of getting into the automation but slow and steadily they have strongly understand the importance of that automation and they are directly involved in getting automation in everything okay yes any skilled uh, person can operate by any connected thing or device yes still society has not realized this real time capability of this scenario okay this is the very first point we can operate we, if we skilled enough to operate that particular uh, connected thing we can definitely operate from anywhere when even if the machine is somewhere away from us okay the second important thing is about the development of the society there will be no uh, uh, physically challenged physically handicapped people there will be there will be no sufferings needed here after and they have very wide opportunities <coughs> and they also have a very super powers to operate whatever uh, to uh, to control whatever the machines under their particular uh, 
access okay this will be the uh, uh, big concept that we need to understand so as like uh, some uh, 20 years before 10 years before we don't need, as a mechanical engineer we don't need to stand in front of machine as a computer science engineer they notice that they don't need to uh, uh, ask program to someone else they can create their own program as an electrical engineer if some circuit changes may happen they know they, they don't need to uh, access it from very nearer and they can do it from the uh, sensors itself so everything will get automized and everything is planned to connect interconnect this is the very big concept that we need to understand before this particular presentation okay i just wanted to tell you the industrial revolution what uh, how the industries are evolved in the different uh, uh, various uh, years and decades okay in the 1780s these are all the approximate years year values and in the 1780s there, there is a very uh, very first industrial scenario has been happened and that is industry 1.0 on that time mechanization and steam power and weaving loom these are all in, into that particular part on the time every every engines have been operated by using steam power okay steam plays played very major role at the same time they have used conversion of energy from uh, no computers involved in this in this phase and there will be com completely based on energy transformation kinematic to uh, electric energy electric to uh, mechanical energy likewise the energy conversation takes place in that particular period that is industry 1.0 and in the uh, 1870s industry 2.0 came into the point where we introduced mass production and bulk production at the same time you may see in the lot of uh, uh, ancient movies there will be assembly line uh, uh, there will be uh, in the charlie chaplin movies there is, there is assembly line called uh, some 10 people will uh, stand uh, around the uh, table and they will each people will have some particular work okay uh, he will finish up some 10 percent of the work second uh, person finish up 10 percent and when it comes to the 10th person he will finish up the 100 percent work and the product will comes out <coughs> that, that will be the 2.0 scenario of 1870s and in the 1960s industry 3.0 came into the path on the time itself all the industries have initiated automation and they have introduced computers and they have introduced advanced electronics into the manufacturing process and into the industries that is the very first period of computer introduced into the uh, uh, industrial systems okay so right now in this scenario uh, as we are in uh, 2020 mm, this industry 4.0 is ruling the world and not yet it has been developed and uh, it is still under pipeline in in, in, the, in the develop development progress okay so in this 4.0 everything has been automated and system computer programming knowledge these are all plays a very wide role in this particular industry 4.0 okay so i will i'll just uh, uh, bit clarify you uh, about uh, this particular uh, industry 4.0 how everything has been upgraded uh, you just think mechanical engineering has been upgraded to machine learning electrical engineering has been upgraded uh, to artificial intelligence civil engineering has been upgraded to architecturals um, and uh, computer science engineering has been upgraded to uh, cyber security data science internet of things and all the departments have been upgraded lot of new concepts are getting into the departments we need to understand that particular concepts and importance of learning that particular concept in this present scenario and we have to work on it deliberately in order to meet out the industrial expectations hope you all have some basic idea on how industries have been evolved from 1.0 to 4.0 we are in the phase of industry 4.0 and we need a lot of upgradations and hopefully we are all working on it and we are in half way done yes uh, shall we go to the next slide guys yes guys if you have any interaction is there any uh, doubts you can please stop me at any time in between okay Yes, uh, this is a uh, very, uh, very vast prior art survey that I have taken uh, to, to tell you the uh, how the India has been comprised of lot of industries and 
what are all the role of these industries in the indian economy and our employability okay uh, you just check out these are all the industries wide range of industries that rules indian economy very first uh, i have ordered it according to the uh, priority very first i am i am just talking about india it is not a global scenario okay in india these are all the main industries per indian economy lies between okay iron and steel industry plays a very major role in the indian economy and it uh, india is one of the uh, top 10 producers of steel every year uh, this iron and steel industry produces 2.5 crore employabilities to the engineers okay so uh, there will be large quantity of steel has been exported from india to other countries every year and still there will be lot of new inventions are required not of new upgrades are required in this particular field okay so information technology is what everything right now in this particular scenario so information technology plays a very wide role and almost 58% of the employability can be created in the upcoming years by only using informa- information technology and it oriented uh, sectors okay so how actually this information technology works by using outsourcing uh, for the, the famous uh, one of the surveys says that uh, us and uk uh, it sectors they are they are uh, minimizing their operation cost up to 70% by outsourcing the indian employees and doing their job in the india okay so this is what the main reason behind the development of information technology in india and there will be wide job opportunities of creating and it it has been progressing every year day by day okay so the textile industries are widely diversified into three major phases in the india the very first will be the extreme sophisticated mills and drastically in the opposite side there will be lot of uh hand weaving and the hand spinning has been happened in between that there is a uncategorized power loom sector is also there and every year it creates four, four crore employable employable uh, employments to the various uh, engineers and all okay uh, another uh, banking and insurance sector will be there uh, every year banking and insurance sectors and its importance are growing progressively and banking sectors has become very vital in running all the business and all the individuals and uh, as like what i told uh, some four slides before as like everyone having their own um, uh, uh, sim card and their own uh, smartphone everyone having their own bank accounts okay this has become very vital and these field progresses every year and jute industries sugar industries and cement industries paper industries these are all creates lot of job opportunities every year to the various industries the main reason behind why i have identified all these sectors and mentioned all these sectors uh, in this particular slide is about these all sector requires some more automation skills these all sector sectors in the upgradeization phase okay if we plan if we solve a particular problem of this industry and if we get some idea on this particular industry definitely will have very wide opening in this particular industry our invention should work in that industry that will be the basic concept okay a very lost a uh, petrochemical industry and automotive industry now uh, when comes to the automobile industry a uh, lot of the engineering department lies in between the automotive uh, industry almost 40% of the employability uh, employ employment has been created only by using automo- automobile industry every year 40% of the indian uh, employment it holds uh, actually okay these are all the major industries of india actually after finishing your engineering degree you are going to uh, stick on any one of these industry actually okay this we, we need to identify the thrust areas of this particular industry and we need to work on it effectively as we are engineers okay <coughs> um very uh, important concept that i have identified there is a company in usa smart manufacturing leadership position that company in the year of 2019 when covid uh, uh, process uh, pandemic initiates they have decided some following aspect to follow and they have implemented 
implemented uh, within some two years okay very first they have planned to build a very digital platform for integration of the machines these companies belongs from company a complete manufacturing company which having all the advancements okay very first they have decided that they need to build a digital platform for the integration of various machine inside the factory okay yes second one they have introduced small and very powerful sensors you just think on it all the machines have been integrated integrated where computer science and it department need to work and second phase a smaller and powerful sensor they have they have incorporated in their machinery where electronics and uh, electrical department need to work then they have introduced machine learning concept in their industry actually the basic concept behind the machine learning is learning the flow of particular machinery and controlling it through the <coughs> local connections so they have introduced in machine learning where mechanical engineers having a lot of opportunities then they have introduced a new concept ubiquitous internet do anyone have idea on what is ubiquitous internet guys any replies what is ubiquitous internet have you heard this word here before is my voice audible huh? is my voice audible guys yes sir yes what is ubiquitous internet do anyone have any idea sir it's like uh, available everywhere sir uh, partially correct uh, um but i will tell you exactly what is ubiquitous internet ubiquitous internet is the simplest form it is a private internet so for each location they can build their own internet for example we are using a, a very internet connection that connects through the world just imagine if we create our own internet facility for the silicon college of technology that can be accessible only inside the silicon college of technology and it can be authorized the people of silicon college of technology it connects all the devices in in between in, inside the silicon college of technology that is what ubiquitous internet you just imagine the same internet connection connectivity in the company where there is there will be 10 advanced machines are there that internet only be shared among that 10 machines where 100% privacy will be maintained this is what going to grow out uh, grow up in the uh, upcoming years so everyone can generate everyone can produce their own uh, private internet connection <coughs> okay so they have started to uh, utilize this ubiquitous internet and they have introduced this concept then they have uh, ubiquitous internet obviously where it department uh, are getting wide scope of opportunities and uh, Uh, there is a artificial intelligence they have they have started to implement so where electrical and electronical having lot of works just see the very last point where we have a, a, a very big threat labor and the energy cost reduction will be also their objective how they can uh, re reduce this labor and energy cost reduction actually they may reduce the employers so what what is the reason behind reducing employers be because of they have automated everything okay so where some new employability will get created uh, and some people who have not upgraded to do this all will lose their jobs so what actually happens so people need to upgrade themselves to go for a coding to learn for a machine to prepare in ubiquitous internet to to adopt with artificial intelligence everything comes into picture and we need to do this all and we need to upgrade ourselves in all these aspect then only we can able to survive in that particular environmental uh, industrial environment okay do you all understand this point so they have initiated this all process in the 2019 and they have right now they have finished everything and they are a very successful manufacturer uh, of uh, throughout the world they are in us <coughs> okay yes uh, let's see some general aspects uh, how uh, industry uh, industries and how uh, industrial environments has been changed during the past uh, some 15 years or some past two decades just just uh, this is a, a thing just imagine in the 2006 iphone is not there ipad is not there kindle is not there 4g is not there uber ola olx these are all not there in the 2006 even android instagram whatsapp zomato swiggy these are all not there okay in the year of 2006 everything has been 
uh, implemented or invented after 2006 afterwards okay within that particular span now everything if we if all of these uh, particular things has become very important part in our life most of the people are using iphones everyone using 4g internet connectivity we are using olx uber uber all everything we are using uh, there is a very uh, important survey says that 60 percent of the world's population are using android devices any any of the uh, any of the more they are using android devices what it actually means 60 percent of the world's population details will be with google okay so this much technology has been developed in the past 15 years and we need to adopt that particular technologies and in this present scenario we need to identify what is going to happen after 10 years and how we need to prepare ourselves to adopt that particular technology uh, there is a there is a thing uh, zomato uh, has been started in the year of 2010 just imagine the investment that has been made by the world uh, uh, investors in the Zomato's around 2,000 crore rupees. That is only an on uh, app which has been developed for uh, food, food, uh, food delivery. But they are owning 2,000 crore of investments throughout the world. This is how the digital platform has been evolved in the past 15 years, 20 years. <coughs> okay. I will give you another one interesting uh, survey to you all. What will be the time that has been taken to reach 100 million customer? Okay, telephone took 75 years to reach 100 million customer. Internet, that means web, have taken seven years to reach 100 million customers. Facebook have took only four years. Instagram took two years, and PUBG Mobile, that is uh, 1.5 version exactly. Uh, these are all uh, our. Uh, a lot of the people are using PUBG Mobile 1.5 that have took only one month to reach 100 million customer. This is how the digital platform have evolved. Yes, do anyone know uh, what time it uh, took to reach 1 mil 100 million customer uh, by Baiju's and Udemy? Baiju's and Udemy. Do you know what is Baiju's and Udemy? These are all uh, education platforms. Yes, obviously, uh, the very, very sad thing is it doesn't reach still uh, 100 million customers it doesn't reach okay uh, it's still uh, struggling to reach 100 million customer okay so this is how digital platform has been evolved in the years okay so uh, i just wanted to tell you what will be the present scenario of today's industry okay there is a workstation uh, uh, chart i have been mentioned here uh, there will be five workstations will be there uh, then the particular works will be done in the workstation one that product moves to workstation two where some particular work will be done again it, it will again move to workstation three then some particular works will be done and workstation four then finally it comes to workstation five and it will be it will be finished okay so this is what the inline uh, in inline workstation platform so it moves in line workstation one followed by workstation two three four and five this will be the today's factory okay uh, layout of today's factory you just imagine guys where we need to work actually is tomorrow's factory this tomorrow's factory doesn't have any inline protocol whatever may be, may be changed it can it can move from x to y a to c a to z wherever it can be it can be mobile and the main point which plays inside is machine integration that means computer integrated manufacturing so everything will be connected with the particular internet of things and we can we can turn our machineries uh, uh, work wherever we require and there will be no inline protocol is followed so the main advantage of tomorrow's factory this this kind of process is about all the workstations having the data of all the remaining workstations that will be the very first thing and the very uh, second thing will be uh, everyone knows the concept of all the workstations so that person should be uh, versatile okay <coughs> so these all 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 the machines are interconnected this workflow will will not be uh, stopped at any situation at any cost if some machine fails that machine's part will be done by another one machine so work will will always be in the flow and it won't get stopped due to the any cost okay this will be the tomorrow's factory where we need a complete knowledge on all the workstation it is not like 10 years before 10 years before or five years before if we assigned for a particular work we'll do that work only 
okay as an engineers i'm talking if he doesn't know that work if that machine failed will will stop our work, work process also will simply sit uh, this machine is not working sir but that is not a scenario right now or not in, in the future in the future you need to understand the concept of that particular material if it stops you have to work on it and you have to rectify that problem and you have to work it work on it again due to uh, any technical reason that machine should not get stopped this is what the future industry scenario so we need to have a clarification of all the processes all the machines all the work functions okay this will be the scenario and we need to understand this concept in the very basic okay yes there will be six design principle for all engineers that we need to follow very first will be the automation so we need to keep one thing in mind everything is become automation so don't get fear as we sir everything will get automation then we will lose our job no we won't lose our job whatever the machine claims and however it works it could not able to replace the human okay so that presence of mind will not we 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 could we could be able to get from the machineries so presence of mind is what everything particular in particular scenario whatever the decision taken by the human that cannot be able to taken by the machines so never no machine is going to replace human and always we are going to rule that particular machine even it is automation we are going to fix up all the programs and everything okay <coughs> another one thing is connection between all the machines we need to understand this concept that is integration of all the machines all the devices that will be around us so this integration will allows cloud computing and data sharing that means this data will be evenly shared between that particular systems and we can retrieve it at any situation okay very finally all the systems should be integrated and its function may be shared okay these six principles we need to understand and we need to work on it here after even if we went uh, joint in some company there we need to understand these particular concepts okay yes building blocks of new age industries okay uh, i am not uh, discussing about this uh, uh, some tenuous uh, old uh, industry and their work progress this is what all present industrial scenario <coughs> there will be lot of new concepts get into the industry that is very first thing i wanted to tell you is simulation all the processes have been simulated all the work progress have been simulated and it has been working in a systematic way and horizontal and vertical system integration in, in industrial internet of things cyber securities that means data security and uh, augmented reality big data analytics autonom uh, autonomous robots these are all developing very, very finally that is additive manufacturing so uh, no industrial products is going to develop here after by using very standard machining process and additive manufacturing came into the part okay so everything has been created by using 3d prototypes so where we need to work 3d machineries okay so value chain of the industries a particular industry from whatever i have mentioned in this uh, slide this all comes into the particular industry the particular industry need their complete access in all these following aspects okay so engineering tools and simulation customer relationship management asset management industrial communication and security enterprise and, and it infrastructures public and it infrastructures factory infrastructures global communication infrastructures control systems sensors and actuators human resources these are all widely working in all the uh, part of all the industries where each and every uh, every concept has their unique protocols and their unique employees they are unique experts okay there will be diversified fields we have to occupy in the future okay there is a simple uh, so a flow chart of digital enterprises i have uh, represented in this slide <laughs> very first from the digital world to real world how the product gets converted in the digital world uh, very first phase we are designing the pro product digitally by using some design softwares and some uh, advanced technologies then we are planning planning the production planning so that can also be done by the uh, system and uh, through the previous data is accessible by the uh, cloud and 
the production engineering part has been having some partial influence of digitalization and finally production takes place and service to the real world has been happened so this life cycle has been mentioned here and totally integrated automation has been takes from the stage two to five this stage two to five has completely is going to become automation automated in the upcoming years where first two phases will take a lot of time where human need to do this all plans okay so we from this slide i just wanted to conclude that still we have a lot of thrust areas in the stage one and stage two very first will be the product design and production planning this can also be done by the integrated integrated uh, uh, datas okay so production engineering production and services may be automated and even it is automated that can be controlled through the <coughs> cloud okay this all has been simulated from the stage one two three to the real-time analysis okay do you understand this the digital enterprise concept how the product will be convert uh, converted to digital to real world okay this will be the very important slide uh, just please uh, have a glance guys my voice audible can we proceed further is there is there anything need to change no sir sir i have a small question sir yes yes please Sir, you said that uh, industry is getting automated, uh, fully automated. There won't be any traditional machining. Will the field of mechanical yes, engineering yes. go down, sir? Ah, uh, that is what I told in the previous slide. Definitely, it is not going to happen. Even we 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 will be fully automated. Uh, humans. Uh, uh, humans will will not be replaced by the any machines. Okay, to operate that machine, we need some particular. Uh, skilled programmer, skilled operator, and if there is any uh, uh, issues that we need to troubleshoot. At the same time, all the machineries will will not be directly eradicated, and that will be uh, slightly every every year. It will be ten percent, fifteen percent, twenty percent. It will be slightly will get automated. So while automation, we need to learn that machine. That is called machine learning. How that machine works and how we need to how we need to program that particular machine in order to operate that machine individually so we can learn in that way so uh, it is not uh, going to, uh, going to be the uh, uh, going to be the uh, uh, negative thing it is actually a very positive thing the only thing is we need to get upgraded in this particular point we need to learn the machine and we need to program that machine if problem arises we need to troubleshoot that that everything can only be done by us not by machines is it clear yes sir thank you sir can we proceed further yes sir thank you yes the potential implications of uh, our recent thrust areas what i have identified uh, in this uh, particular uh, presentation is about robot assisted production this is what going to happen and the another 10 years where we need to improve our skills in this particular areas robot assisted production that will be the very important everything will be uh, automated so where robots came to the picture and predictive maintenance we all know uh, maintenance what is predictive maintenance do you have any idea guys predictive maintenance nothing but we we, we perfectly monitor monitor a particular machine during the regular interval of time or before the problem arises we need to maintain again to have maintain involved maintenance activities of the particular machinery again additive manufacturing of complex parts all the complex parts all the complex parts has been manufactured by using uh, additive manufacturing process okay this additive manufacturing process uh, will be developed that is 3d printing 3D printing is is a very wide growing area in this particular scenario, and where all the uh, complex parts can be manufactured by using this particular machine. At the same time, machines as a service. I will tell you in the upcoming slide how we can use machines as as a service. And big data drive uh, quality control, uh, production line simulation, a smart supply network. These are all the thrust areas that have been identified to work with various environments. Okay. Let's see. I I I have shared you one interesting survey um of how automation have been happened okay 
this will be the uh, status of robots working in the amazon warehouse okay there is a uh, we know amazon is the world's uh, number one uh, telecommerce uh, company okay uh, they have a warehouse in the united state houston okay in in that warehouse they have used in in the year of 2013 they have used some uh, some 1000 or 2000 robots in their uh, warehouse in the year of 2014 they have improved it to 10000 plus robots in the 2018 uh, the robot utilization was improved up to 28000 and in the year of 2020 they have improved their usage of robots up to 40000 robots they are using in their warehouse you just imagine how drastically that usage of robo robots has been improved all the robots are semi automatic and they have they they will done uh, all the robots will done do some pre defined work that the pick and place and everything okay just imagine how the usage of robots has been improved drastically with the every year okay so um, this is what we need to uh, understand in this particular uh, right so siemens is one of the uh, already told one of the german company were leading automobile manufacturers so they have started one uh, new uh, branch of uh, business that is called artificial hip and knee joints okay where lot of engineers that is there, there is a complete medical term even it is a medical term lot of the engineers need to work they need to uh, uh, study the uh, uh, flow of uh, uh, nerves blood systems and they need to study uh, study that by using some sensors and they need to fix some metal plates inside that that metal plate should withstand high uh, <coughs> high uh, temperatures high uh, that that should be that should be corrosion resistant that material should be developed individually likewise there will be lot of uh, new departments have been created for this particular work okay so as a biotechnology students you can all uh, focus in this particular point how artificial hip and knee joints can be done by using some organic materials even there is a uh, one important thing i just wanted to convey the cissus quadrangularis any any of the biotechnology students know this term what is cissus quadrangularis any biotechnology students are you there do you know what is cissus quadrangularis any idea okay you you all please go through what is cissus quadra quadrangularis in the google uh, this uh, i i don't want to reveal what is that you have to search it actually it is it is a, a, a natural material that is going to be used in the future as a bone for a replacement of bones instead of metal plates okay you, you all please go through that you will start working on it <coughs> okay so another one uh, important uh, thing that is uh, a uh, german tool making company trump okay this company have started one very big uh, initiation that is social machines okay so to get some particular work done we are approaching some industry for example we need to drill something we need to uh, we need to face something uh, that means by using lathe or uh, we need some any mechanical activities we need some any electrical activities what we have to do we have to go and approach some industries that can be that can completely be changed in the future after some 10 years there will be no specific such industries will be there and there will be lot of social machines concept will be implemented okay as like uh, as like shopping malls as like some uh, public uh, uh, places uh, social machines will also be placed in the uh, public places so where we can directly go and we can place our machine and we can do some machining process the the main advantage of these particular machines is that it can automatically do it uh, your uh, assigned work uh, because of it already store all the data how to do that particular work that will be already programmed okay this social machines concept will be the very important thing that we need to understand okay so how this uh, different uh, machineries get evolved that is that i uh, tend to discuss so very first clips introduced that uh, lights that can be operated by using mobile application and we know the famous uh, 
company Medtronic, they have st uh, they have started to produce a blood glucose meter, which can automatically detect your blood glucose level and periodically it uh, it uh, it represents and it indicates your blood uh, glucose level. Uh, and uh, Lap and Lauren, we know that they have they have uh, even in the 2015, they have developed one T-shirt for the athletes, and that completely uh, displays all their uh, uh, blood circulation level, blood oxygen level, their uh, calorie burned, uh, their heart monitor, uh, heart heart rate monitor, everything, all data will be provided. But by that mobile application, and Bablot is a very famous company. You may all know that they are. Uh, their uh, table tennis bat uh, manufacturing company okay they have implemented uh, they have developed an advanced uh, table tennis bat that uh, that can automatically senses what speed that ball him ball have came and, uh, and what uh, effort required to defend that particular ball everything that will be calculated and that represents for our reference okay these are all the advancements that has been happening in the each and every Indi uh, individual products okay yes we have all discussed the two crucial parts in the previous slides so what what will be the present scenario and what will be the uh, position of industries after pandemic okay this we are, these are all we have seen in the all previous slides there will be lot of implementations have been happened lot of things we need to upgrade yes we are in the very conclusion part <coughs> what skills we need to upgrade exactly what companies expecting from us this is what our very uh, final third phase that we are going to discuss uh, as a as a part of uh, this uh, webinar series very second day you all had on uh, presentation uh, that is uh, communication skills you may all understand i think uh, about the importance of communication skill uh, it is very much crucial for all the engineers so as a engineers uh, can any one of you tell me what is engineering? Can any one of you tell me what is engineering? Yes, actually it is an application of science. So whatever we learned for the year one, year two and year three, that we should have to convert as a meaningful uh, output that means that will be beneficial to the society meaningful meaningful product that we have to develop okay this is what our final objectives so for that only we are re we are we are uh, learning lot of concepts lot of theories lot of laws lot of different mathematical forms everything we are learning in the past uh, your duration in your engineering course span so these all can be implemented and this all can be uh, we need to convert it beneficial to the society we know all the concepts we know all the theories all laws everything yes if we doesn't have the capability to convince the opponent or convince our client with our available resources then there is no use of doing this all okay so for that we need a very excellent communication skill okay without communication nothing can be done even it is your native language even it is english even it is hindi whatever it may be depends on the situation depends on the industrial environment depend depends on your working environment definitely you need some certain communication skill that is very important that is what the very first thing industry expects from you okay when you are in the particular industrial uh, work environment where you are facing some problems that you need to directly convey to your higher officials with the very proper terms and very proper languages okay this this is what everything if you doesn't know to express yourself that is very much difficult to survive in that particular <coughs> area okay second thing is this is what indian scenario if you want to compete globally if you want to go to abroad if you want to go uh, if you want to work in some um, foreign uh, companies a uh, lot of the foreign companies have their uh, branches in india if you want to work there like hyundai like renault nissan uh, like if you want to work there you need to know some specific english accents so that english accents should also be considered you need to talk in that particular accent what that particular country follows okay all the global companies will will think very firstly is the communication okay without communication we couldn't enter into that particular uh, 
companies okay with that i just wanted to tell you how you can improve your communication skill within the short span of time so i will tell you one important thing all of you just understand only 100 terms will be there to to talk fluently will have only 100 terms you need to focus on conjunction words definitely you need to focus on some technical terms you just every day when you're talking you just improve your uh, uh, technical terms what you are using in English if you're talking 10 words in Tamil first day you just include one word second day include some one or two words extra likewise you can minimize your your language and you can improvise usage of English so like this you can improve improvise at the same time reading and hearing lot of English articles will make you uh, more uh, flexible in the communication okay the second important thing knowledge beyond the textbooks this is what the very important uh, thing all the companies expecting okay everyone all the all the uh, when, when uh, there is a survey says that 4.5 lakh of engineers are coming out every year from india alone okay all these 4.5 lakh of engineers have passed their theory examination have passed their academics they have some basic knowledge but the thing is how you are expressing what you learned beyond your book for example we have a lot of uh, skill development programs some people learned c programming some people learned some uh, optimization softwares some people learned some uh, uh, basic programming languages and everything every, everyone learning their own ad advanced skills this is what going to differentiate you when you get entered into the interview okay when you're getting entered into the interview if you if you are one among the common people you will not get specialized and there is a possibility of hearing you is very much minimized okay you need to differentiate yourself from the your subordinate then you need to learn something new beyond your textbook okay this is what the very important concept that is what i kept it in the very second place okay again the one one of the important thing is that logical and intellectual thinking is very important whatever you're thinking whatever you're talking to hr whatever you are doing that should be very much logically possible at the same time it should be somewhat intellectual you should do in your own way okay at the same time it should be very much correct so you need to you need to be logical and you should be uh, act and think like intellectual okay at the same time you should always think like the inventor <coughs> you don't think like the employee you just think like the inventor while if you invent that particular product what will happen if you are the owner of that particular product what will happen if you are the owner of the particular uh, company what will happen likewise you have to keep yourself in that particular place and you have to think from out of the box okay this is what the core objective At the same time you need to opt a new new projects every day where that gives you a lot of learning opportunities and that projects should change the world okay for example there will be a lot of uh, real time uh, uh, scenarios are available to uh, to work with okay very first there's a energy crisis always will be there at the same time alternate fuels also to be worked there will be fuel deficiency every day it is getting increased at the same time alt artificial intelligence and uh, resources will get limited these are all the thrust areas we can work you need to work in any one of these area uh, or some advanced areas you need to learn something beyond your books and you need to work in that particular project this is what the knowledge beyond textbook and you need to be familiar with that so every day you need to learn something new out of the box what will not in not in the textbook that should de definitely enhance your skill that is a very mandate requirement in the industry <coughs> and third important thing the ability to lead see most of the engineers they are not getting any progress in the company the main reason behind that is they will simply follow the path of someone who decided uh, who have defined so if you follow some someone's path you will not get succeed instead of that you need to create a team and you need to lead that team all the leading industries definitely they are they are they are asking they are seeking your leadership quality they will assign a particular job to you and it should be done by you by your team members so this leadership quality is very much important this 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 you should not get the overnight okay every day you need to 
to work with as a students as engineering students you need to work with some you need to organize some events you need to organize some seminars you need to organize some uh, uh, symposiums conferences and you need to work with that and you need to form a so team and you need to lead them so this is what the basic activities what we are actually doing you have to uh, more deliberately have to concentrate on that okay so you need to lead you have to be the leader and definitely you should be uh, the positive um, a, a person okay so being an engineer it is not that much of easy job uh, there is a very uh, famous uh, quote is there as engineers we are all in the park Uh, every day uh, we are in the we are we are we are moving in the park and uh, we are happily we are in the park but actually that park is not a kids park that is a jurassic park <laughs> okay likewise uh, th this this things uh, will be a very uh, famous for uh, uh, engineers we are in the park but that is a jurassic park where there will be every day there will be lot of threats are there we need to uh, work on it deliberately okay you need to be extremely positive person then only you can you can face all the critical scenarios uh, all the problems at the same time you need to be updated with the latest technologies every day you need to get updated updated <coughs> or otherwise it is very much impossible to survive in the industry so please you need to update yourself every day by learning something new okay that is very much easy if you get involved in some new projects if you involved in the project definitely you will learn something if you learn something you will do something if you do something that will be definitely useful for the beneficiaries if it beneficiaries for the uh, uh, use, uh, useful for the beneficiaries definitely it will again st uh, start you to uh, starts you to do a new work okay again you need to uh, you need highest willingness to travel yes if you attached with a particular company if that company assigns to share your knowledge to some people there somewhere away you need to be ready to that okay knowledge should be shared to share the knowledge sometimes you need to go somewhere or some people will go to approach you but whatever it is you need to share your knowledge and you need to you, you always be ready to travel on behalf of your company okay knowledge of foreign languages this is a very uh, latest thing lot of the companies are asking that there is a company uh, in coimbatore i think you may all know j r e walls have you heard that this company name <coughs> j r e walls this is one of the leading company in coimbatore or they are the manufacturer of walls they have they have a tie up with the german uh, german companies okay they are manufacturing their walls for the lot of german companies so what they are actually doing while while recruiting the people they are ask they are asking the german language proficiency among the candidates if you know german you can directly join in that company so this is the very present scenario lot of the companies are asking your foreign language proficiency if we are struggling in english even it is not uh, good to work with these foreign companies hello is my voice audible sir yes sir okay thank you so then uh, there will be a very important thing ability to multitask so uh, it it has become very vital role uh, to survive in the present industries we need to do multitasking at the same time we need to work with two two three different projects and we can able to manage that at the same time we need to be the versatile personality what is versatile personal personality actually <coughs> we uh, we need to be expert in the different different uh, fields if if you are for example if you are good in quality control you can also you can also learn production if you are good in production control you can also learn designing if you are uh, good in designing you can learn marketing so you will be the multiple uh, versatile personality you you can have accessibility in all your departments of the industry that that could be the very important thing that we have that you have to uh, undergo in this scenario and very final thing is you should be very much ambitious okay every day in your in your company or whatever may be your life circle life scenario uh, you should be very much ambitious okay there will be lot of ups and downs will be there sometimes situations will not be favor to you even whatever may be the situation you need to undergo that situation you should have that undying fire into you to face all your situations you should be very much determined you should be very much ambitious and you should be retained in anything 
whatever may be your job whatever may be your situation you should retain in that particular situation and, and you should have to face that and then only you can able to survive in that particular part this past five slides what we discussed is what the exact expectation of the industry you need to be work on it yes you all get placed here after you need to work on it you need to improve all your these skills in order to uh, get uh, more improvements in your company's environment okay so a very final thing uh, that is a d funnel for fresh engineers there is a concept d funnel <coughs> i think uh, do you know that what is d funnel it is a kind of analysis okay so according to this d funnel uh, fresh engineers need this six skills okay this six skills definitely improves the quality and lifestyle of the engineer okay the very first thing in that is imagination you need to imagine new concepts and new designs new process every day you need to imagine again and again and again you need to invert something new 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 okay again the second one is the thirst of knowledge you need to learn you need to update every day you should always have a thirst of learning some new things then accuracy of thought and action when you decided something you need to work on it when you started to work on it you definitely need to succeed it that is what the accuracy of thought and action and you need to be expert in that and instinct of economy everything comes into the into the economy part and you should have some basic ideology on your budget planning and economy and finally fluency here fluency not only represents your language that is also a particular part in your proposed work when you are converting into your some proposed work you need flu deliberate fluency in that particular work and finally you need to be very much loyal to the to your organization or your industry that that is alone will bring you more more uh, laurels and grows in your particular company okay this definitely this d funnel will get uh, will be very much useful to you all just take a screenshot and you all uh, uh, go through this uh, d funnel and uh, have a glance on the session okay let's come to the uh, final uh, part of our session a very famous quote by elon musk you may all know who is elon musk uh, there is a very famous quote by elon musk when you some when something is important enough you do it even if the odds are not in favor so if you decided to do something when not even the situation is favor to you you need to fulfill that particular work you need to finish up that work giving up is not a solution okay you need to return in that particular situation and you need to face it and you need to clear that particular situation in a successful way okay hope you all enjoyed the session uh, let's open the session for query any question guys any questions let me have yes, some interaction yes sir you told that uh, in we are having some industry series like 1.0 like uh, 4.0 like that yes yes so what will be the next uh, industry's revolution sir will it I... be fully automatic or uh, any human involvement is there or not sir actually we are in the era of industry 4.0 in this present situation it may last for another one decade at least so we are in the phase of complete automation okay complete automation in the sense where lot of programming languages will get involved lot of uh, advanced materials will get involved uh, and uh, uh, job opportunities in the side of digitalization will get involved for example internet of things uh, learning of machines artificial intelligence your job opportunity will get diversified in this uh, in this side okay so we are in the phase of industry 4.0 and uh, uh, industry still have not defined about 5.0 now we are in the 4.0 for the past 5 years yes, sir but still here we are having some human involvement right sir definitely uh, human involvement is there it is not completely automated that machine is only automated itself we have the control of that machine so not completely automatic 100% is not automatic uh, 60% will be the automation remaining 40% will be the human intervention is there definitely
Okay, sir. But in future, we can expect the same, no, sir. Like hundred yes. percent automation. Yes, yes. Everything will get changed. Hundred percent automate automation will happen. At the same time, our job opportunities will just converted into new programs, new softwares. Okay, sir. Thank you. Fields are getting changed. Instead of standing in front of machine, we are controlling it technically by doing some softwares, by doing some programmings, likewise. Sir, like that, uh, these programmings also can be done with all robots, no, sir. Uh, that can be done with programs. I said one another word that is presence of mind. When the problem arises, when something is not uh, good. that we can easily identify and we can do it with some uh, our own our own uh, presence of mind but it cannot be possible in the robot okay sir okay but ro robot only will do what is predefined already to that particular robot if if we find some particular false uh, scenario on the time we will again program uh, that false scenario to the uh, robot next time the same scenario arises that that manage that that robot manage that particular scenario but the thing is as i said as we are engineers every day we'll see some new 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 problems this is not it is a never ending story every day we'll have lot of new thrust areas lot of problems that we need to troubleshoot is it clear uh, raju yes sir clear sir thank you okay thank you any other queries our session is open open for the interaction no sir uh any other questions shall we have any discussion sir i have a doubt sir yes sir you said that industries are getting up, upgraded sir mm -hmm. uh, on the perspective of industry we should be fully upgraded on we should just know the basics that's enough definitely basics are very much important we need to be very much strong in the basics rest, rest of the thing industry and the particular environment will teach us us okay operating the particular machi machinery Uh, and the uh, um, knowledge about that particular machinery is enough to us when that particular situation when we when we propose to handle that particular machine on the time we will automatically learn the remaining okay we we need to be open minded to upgrade that is what the important okay okay sir okay so excuse me sir yes Sir, I have a doubt. Yes, Manoj. Sir, uh, what if we do that? Uh, the major uh, source, uh, like uh, coal, petroleum, was uh, uh, dried. What? What can the industries uh, depend upon these uh, fuels? We will do. A yeah, very interesting question, uh, Manoj. Actually, actually, uh, your question is about if petroleum uh, will will get drained. What will be the alternative isn't it yes sir yes actually there will be lot of research has have already been done in the alternative fuels lot of alternate fuels has been uh, uh, developed at the same time the industry has been drastically changed to electric vehicles okay if petroleum got uh, drained we have lot of other options and uh, there is a uh, central government initiative niti ayog have taken uh, in the year of 2030 2030 in the year of 2030 Oh, almost 80% of the vehicle which runs in the road will be of electric batteries okay so there will be no engine vehicles we are going to see more no longer okay they have already taken the decision in the year of 2030 almost 80% of the oh, vehicle should be run by using the electric batteries so there will be lot of alternates have came for the fuel okay so we need to uh, adopt ourselves in that area so that that will be the trust area trust area so that you need to have some ideologies you need to fix your work in such a way that you can work in the electric vehicles or electric batteries in 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 that part okay this will be the trust area actually there will be lot of alternate fuels has been invented especially uh, that is also not required we are in the uh, electric vehicle era 
is it clear uh, sir yes sir but although uh, we have find uh, more uh, alternative fuels which uh, but uh, it can't give an uh, equal efficiency uh, to the uh, petroleum yes. fuels yes. for the past 2 3 decades still lot of researches are going on uh, in alternative fuels still uh, 100% alternate for the petrol or diesel have not yet find, found okay that alternate fuels has some demerits also it produces lot of toxic smoke that will be very much hazardous to the environment petrol or diesel will produce that is also producing some carbon monoxide but uh, more than that all, all the other alternate fuel produces okay and one more thing not these are all not yet commercially started its production okay so there will be lot of researches are going on in alternative fuels still it, all these uh, researches are or in or under uh, line once they started the electric vehicle uh, uh, research that alternate fuel research go, got quite dull this is what is present scenario thank you sir thank you any other doubts any other questions any other questions guys thank you sir i would like to deliver my expression of gratitude to everyone present here i thank the speaker mr ms santosh research coordinator department of mechanical engineering for delivering a wonderful session today thank you sir for sharing your industry revolution information and various industry perspective on employable engineers for our young minds here my sincere gratitude to our chairman dr p selvaraj our secretary dr b kavita nandini our principal dr a nadrajan our administrative manager and head of isdtp mr m kartik for their guidance and constant support i also extend my thanks to the heads of various departments and faculties for their contribution my heartfelt thanks to the students for their active participation throughout the session we isdtp would like to conclude this session with expecting the same amount of energy and participation of students for the upcoming sessions too your safety is very important for sct family kindly wear mask maintain social distance frequently sanitize your hands make sure you take vaccination and consume healthy foods regularly i request you all to pay attention to the national anthem thank you very thank much you. to you all uh, patient listening thank you very much thank you thank you once again wish you all an excellent day ahead thank you all